Hello again and welcome back to the Good Looking Vlog. This is the Good Looking Guy. So recently, I uh, procured uh, this chassis right here, and it's burned. A friend who uh, owns this actually gave, donate, donated it to me, and um, I always wanted. Uh, an MS uh, chassis to uh, experiment with. So I've been watching a lot of videos in YouTube, uh, Team Flash, uh, Roscoe, uh, Shellshock, uh, Heroku. It got me thinking of building another another mini. I wanted it to have shocks. The majority of them are showing, cost a lot of money, heavy machinery. The majority of them suggest that uh, I cut like uh, carbon plates which cost like 10 bucks a pop and you need two so again money that I don't have so what I ended up doing experimenting on this chassis so I went out and got this kit right here and a couple of springs uh, on the initial cut wouldn't you know it I screwed up Ta-da! I ended up with this beauty right here Tires are uh, small diameter, uh, really hard tires, like hard, hard tires. Here's the cowl. Upon removing the cowl, I'll show you the insides. And this is what the inside look like. It's <laughs> I actually I basically made an upside down car. It does run, mind you. So if you want to change the battery, you turn the car upside down like an AR. Uh, remove the battery protection. So you run this car upside down and the reason for that being is when you see me press it does have a rear shock the front part the front back front front back upside upside down front back rear of the car it has the exact uh, same suspension in a little bit, I'd be uh, heading out uh, to our uh, local uh, racetrack, which means my friend's house, where he has the racetrack, and we're gonna try it out. Okay, so we made it, and uh, uh, time to set up.
So what did I think about its overall performance? Well, to uh, tell you frankly, I was surprised just as much as you guys that it worked. The majority of the problem is on this uh, carbon plate right here, so I ended up trimming it on the spot. Before I trimmed it, it was causing me problems. So what I ended up doing is I trimmed this and I added some more weights on the back and hopefully that will solve that issue right there. So overall, uh, what do I think about the reverse MSL chassis? Uh, first, I would like to thank um, Leo. Uh, thank you for giving me your uh, burnt chassis. If it was, if it weren't for that chassis, I wouldn't have um, experimented. And uh, Japanese guy Hiroku, uh, thank you for the idea. Thank you for the concept. But the sad thing is, your idea won't work here in Italy. The fact being, uh, here we are actually uh, scarce of uh, black springs, which uh, what I have. Uh, place there is uh, the silver ones and the gold ones and uh, both of them have a small diameter so the diameters are all small uh, it has a smaller diameter than the pillar so what I ended up doing is I took your concept and uh, modified your concept uh, to make the spring fit so I actually removed all the pillars in this thing and I just used screws uh, for stabilizers I just used the joint there so um, it stays aligned and uh, I ended up using uh, two different parts of uh, two different MS types chassis if that makes any sense this is uh, the latter the latter MSL and this is the prior uh, MSL I hope you enjoyed the uh, this build actually it wasn't a build it was I didn't show videos of me building it so that's it for the video for the good-looking vlog this had been the good-looking guy and Pinoy mini four-wheel drive racing team here in Rome till we race again Peace.